All people round the earth rejoice to God most high, our sovereign King. Serve God with cheerful heart and voice. With all your tongues, God's glory sing. Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me. Thank you. This is morning prayer for Friday, July the 19th. And it's the eighth week after Pentecost and week two in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service. Psalm 31, verse 9 to 24, and 1 Samuel, chapter 21, verse 1 to 15. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, alleluia, have mercy on me, for I am in trouble. Alleluia, Psalm 31. Alleluia, have mercy on me, for I am in trouble. My eye is consumed with grief, so is my soul and my belly. For my life is spent with grief, and my years are sighing. My strength fails me, and my bones are consumed. I was re a reproach among all my enemies, but especially among my neighbors, and a fear to my acquaintance. They that see me avoid me. I am forgotten as the dead out of mind. I am like a broken vessel. For I have heard the slander of many. Fear was on every side. While they took counsel together against me, they devised to take away my life. But I trusted in you, O God. I said, you are my God. My times are in your hands. Deliver me from my enemies and from them that persecute me. Shine your face on me and save me for your love's sake. Let me not be ashamed, O God, for I have called on you. Let the wicked be ashamed. Let them be silent in the grave. Let the lying lips be put to silence, which speak grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. How great your goodness, which you have laid up for them that fear you which you have wrought for them that trust in you before the children of the earth. You shall hide them in the secret of your presence from the pride of mortals. You shall keep them secretly in a pavilion from the strife of tongues. Blessed are you, for you have shown me marvelous kindness in a besieged city. For I said in my haste, I am cut off from before your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard the voice of my supplications when I cried to you. Love God, all you saints, for God preserves the faithful and repays to the full the proud. Be of good courage, and God will strengthen your heart, all of you that hope in God. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, have mercy on me, for I am in trouble. Alleluia. The lesson is from the first book of Samuel, chapter 21, beginning at verse 1. Now David came to Nob, to the priest Ahimelech. And Ahimelech came trembling to meet David and said to him, Why are you alone and no one with you? And David to the priest Ahimelech, The king has charged me with the matter, and said to me, No one must know anything of the matter which I send you, and with which I have charged you. I have made an appointment with the young men for such and such a place. Now then, what have you at hand? Give me five loaves of bread, or whatever is here. And the priest answered David, I have no ordinary bread, only holy bread, provided that the young men have kept themselves from women. And David answered the priest, Indeed, women have been kept from us as always when I go on an expedition. The vessels of the young men are holy, even when it is a common journey. 
How much more today will their vessels be holy? So the priest gave him the holy bread, for there was no bread there except the bread of the presence, which is removed from before the Most High to be replaced by hot bread on the day it is taken away. Now a certain man of the servants of Saul was there that day, detained before the Most High, and his name was Dog the Edomite, the chief of Saul's shepherds. David said to Ahimelech, Is there no spear or sword here with you? I did not bring my sword or my weapons with me, because the king's business required haste. And the priest said, The sword of Goliath the Philistine, whom you killed in the valley of Elah, is here, wrapped in a cloth behind the ephod. If you will take that, take it, for there is none here except that one. And David said, There is none like it. Give it to me. David rose and fled that day from Saul. He went to King Ashish of Gath. The servants of Ashish said to him, Is this not David, the king of the land? They did not sing to one another of him in dances. Saul has killed his thousands, and David his ten thousands. David took these words to heart and was very much afraid of King Ashish of Gath. And so he changed his behavior before them and pretended to be mad when in their presence. He scratched marks on the doors of the gates and let his spittle run down his beard. And Ashish said to his servants, Look, you see the man is mad. Why then have you brought him to me? Do I lack madmen that you have brought this fellow to play the madman in my presence? Shall this fellow come into my house? Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Save your people, O God, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, O tender God. Have mercy. Show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, O God, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. And for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Strengthen our hearts and preserve your faithful, O God Most High, as we place our hope in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. <laughs>